What up, Thunder, and everybody from the TSG Network, Tiz I, the Rubik's New, bringing you some MW3 gameplay. Not really going to be talking about MW3, though, in this video. I'm going to switch it up a little bit and talk about some Black Ops 2. I know that somebody put out the video on this channel a little bit ago, but this video is going to be a little bit different than that. For starters, it's not going to have that weird, creepy porno music that was turning me on, which it really has me questioning my character personally, because I, that kid was 15, and that, I was getting a little boner from that, so something was wrong there. Anyway... His, his video was good. I enjoyed most of the topics that he talked about. Just it was a little bit too professional and eloquent for my taste. And I am three years older than the kid and I already feel like a dumbass because most of the things that he was saying made me feel stupid. For starters, one of the best things that he said on his video that I'm going to reiterate about is they, there needs to be separate playlists. And there has to be a playlist where you cannot use... There has to be a dedicated playlist where you can only use sniper rifles because I am tired of quickscoping faggots running around and barrel stuffing me around every corner it has really gotten to the point where i just want to kill everybody that and if treyarch does well of course treyarch's gonna make the next black ops but they really need to take out a few things in that game especially things like ghost ghost was the number one reason why i wanted to flush black ops down the toilet that game got so much worse just off of that perk alone and then things like that were introduced by other companies like Painkiller needs to be taken out. I am so tired of a kid having cocaine armor for 10 seconds and being invincible. It it really doesn't make sense. I would so much rather for Jug to come back and Jug to be like a predominant perk. Like you can replace it as your second perk like in COD 4 and MW uh, World of War. That would be so much better. Especially if you threw back in stopping power because I'm tired of having to skip around and use bullshit perks because stopping power is not there anymore. That's just stupid. I don't understand why you would do that. And honestly, if they brought back Jug, I don't think quick scoping would be that much of a fucking problem because you wouldn't. You, these dipshits would have to hit you two, three times. And I think that'd be perfect because I'm tired of the sniper rifle being the most OP gun in the entire game because one hit anywhere usually will kill me. Yet when I use it, it takes me like 15 shots of this kid's head, and he's just sitting there eating and like glad. He's just like, ha, shoot me again, motherfucker. And I don't like that. I personally do not enjoy that. It's probably just because I'm bad with it. But you know what? take it out another huge thing that needs to be taken out completely like not well you know what i have one solution to it noob tubes pro pipes call them whatever you want to call them they are gay uh the one thing that would actually kind of fix that is if they made it replace your first perk i know that i'm getting back into cod 4 and i'm touching that on that because i'm nostalgia stricken off that game i loved that game with all my life like i would marry that game if it was possible i would bone that game and have some awesome game babies but i tried that once it got really really technical and legal and I just got too complicated. But anyway, I would totally have Noob Tubes replace your first perk because then you wouldn't be able to have things like OMA, which would have fixed MW2 a lot. And it would just leave people like without Bandoli or without Scav, so they can't keep picking stuff up. I think that it's awesome. And that should really, really be implemented again. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. And make that the only attachment that you can put on your gun if your bitch has decides to use Noob Tubes. And then the final thing, the last final thing, and it's funny that I'm saying final, but I'm talking about final stand, last stand. Anything that somehow helps you after you die, or after you should have died, I think is ridiculous. In MW3, they put in this nifty little one that, it straps your ass with C4 like you're a Haji, and it just blows up with like a 10 mile radius, like it just shakes the screen for like, it just echoes into like the next game over. It's the biggest explosion you've ever seen in your life. And it's ridiculous because you can be freaking 10 buildings down and it'll still hit you. And you're just like, what the hell's happening? How is this even fair? I don't understand why they ever put Last Stand in it, and that is why I think somebody needs to kill Robert Bowling because he lied about that thing so much. Oh yeah, guys, no Last Stand, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Last Stand. I hate him. Anyway, I'm the Rubik's Noob, guys. I know this video is wrapping up a little bit. I'm sorry that it's so short. It, it's actually a pretty decent game. It's 40 and 1. Uh, hopefully, you can come over to my channel. Just check it out. I'm sorry I'm going to have to plug myself at the end of this. Uh, come check out my channel. Hopefully, tell me that you like me, even if you don't like me. Tell your grandmother about me. Tell your moms about me. Ask your moms about me if you want to. Uh, tell me that I'm gay. Just anything. Hopefully, you come and subscribe, like my videos, do whatever you need to do. Also, I never said what kind of content I put up on my channel. Like every Monday will be a Call of Duty video, Call of Duty commentary, just like this one that I just presented to you. And then every Thursday is going to alternate between a COD live com, a Minecraft live com, and a Dead Space live com where you're going to hear me cry like a little bitch because that game is terrifying if you've ever played it. But I'm the Rubik's Noob, guys, and I'm out. Peace.